位最唔希望嘅事情，竟然發生喺我身上。咁所以咧，個結果係點啊？冇得整，成個換，撲街啦！咁鋪真係，咁鋪真係結啦。Hello， 大家早晨好，我係 Kenny。咁啊，原諒我依家喺個未瞓醒嘅狀態下，同埋加埋個頭亂七八糟嘅情況下拍片。咁啊，事就係咁嘅，琴晚屋企爆水喉，咁所以而家咧就係點講啊？係冇水嘅情況下，因為我係已經熄曬種仔噶啦。如果唔係咧，啲水就會一直係咁流 over night 嘅。咁所以咧，我而家係乜都未沖涼，同埋而家係朝頭早六點九。嘅情況下去拍片嘅，咁啊，到底發生咩事咧？咁就帶大家睇下災難現場先。咁啊，話説啦，我呢個熱水爐，咁就係儲水式嘅，就驚天然氣嘅。咁就琴晚諗住想沖涼嘅時候咧，咁就發覺啲水都唔熱嘅。咁跟住就諗住，哎，以為冇熱水啦，咁就等一陣啦。跟住點知咧，等咗好耐都係冇熱水喎。咁跟住之後出嚟呢，就發現開始呢，就見到啲水呢，就由唔知呢個位底下呢個位呢，就可以滴啦。跟住就呢度流流流流，咁啊流到見到你個底下呢，呢度都係好多水嘅，呢度都係好多水。跟住流到啲磚呢，都係濕晒咁樣嘅，即係流到飛晒出嚟咁樣嘅。咁就我就思疑呢，就係、是、因為佢入面。呃即係有啲厚咁啊，爆咗啦，就滴濕咗啲火咁樣啦。咁因為入面咧係要有啲火咁一路煲住呢個熱水煲咁樣嘅，咁就去 supply 熱水成間屋咁樣嘅。咁所以咧，我就第一時間咧就已經即係將屋企個水掣個大掣就已經係熄咗佢，咁就驚佢一路係咁流 overnight 啦，同埋又驚佢又唔算漏氣嘅，因為我又聞唔到有天然氣嘅味道，咁所以就淨係熄咗個水掣，咁就算啦。咁跟住琴晚就諗住打佢啲。睇下冇啲 emergency after hours 嘅 service， 即係叫啲水喉嗰啲人過嚟整啦。但係都揾唔到，咁即係佢可能嗰啲 after hours on call 嘅人比較少啦。咁就即係佢琴晚即日就冇得嚟到咯。咁所以咧就揾咗我平時用開，即係叫開嗰間誒 pumper， 咁就琴晚 message 佢，佢就話。誒可以朝頭早即七點鐘就過嚟幫我哋睇下，咁所以而家咧就係六點五十分，咁仲有大概十分鐘嘅時間，咁所以咧依家都未知發生緊咩事，咁依家都係要等個 pump 過嚟睇下，咁就希望就淨係爆水喉啦，就唔使換曬成個熱水爐啦，因為唔知入邊嘅損壞情況係。到底有幾嚴重？因為即係住咗咁耐都未未試過有呢個情況發生，咁今次都係第一次，咁所以咧就希望唔好換曬成個熱水爐啊！如果唔係就哦金爐，如果唔係就。希望嘅事情竟然發生喺我身上。咁原來咧，頭先個 plumber 睇咗咧，原來就係話個熱水缸爆咗，咁所以咧就啲水就一直流出嚟啦。咁所以咧個結果係點啊？冇得整，成個換，撲街啦！咁鋪真係，今鋪真係結啦。咁頭先咧就啱啱嗰個 plumber 咧就打俾佢個 boss 就 call 咗價，就成個換咧就二千蚊。唉，救命咯！點解臨聖誕之前要整翻咁嘅嘢俾我？真係咁，所以咧個方法就去睇一個 supplier 嗰度，可唔可以即刻攞到個即係新嘅熱水爐出嚟？咁就即時就翻嚟幫我整咁樣啦。咁所以而家咧就等啦，冇計啦。煮得呢個就係一百三十五 l 水嘅入邊，咁就係、是。系咯，咁就爆咗啦，拜拜，冇啦，咁就等阵睇下，诶、呃，可唔可以 claim house insurance 啦、啊？咁就因为爆水喉而去整坏咗热水炉咧，系好似系有得爆嘅，但系
，應該就包唔曬嘅，因為呢個算係 content 上，我諗應該都係算一千蚊咁上下啩。咁所以咧，唉、哎，我都唔知啊。咁真陣就攞張單咁樣走，真走去。等佢搞掂曬，就攞去 R E C 嗰度問下佢，睇下可以 claim 得幾多啦，係，真係麻煩啦！臨聖誕之前搞啲咁嘅嘢，咁就係啦，依家等啦，咁啊等個 prompt 翻嚟嗰陣時，再去繼續 update 大家啦嚇、啊，遲啦！<笑>好啦，搞咗差唔多成四個鐘啦，咁啊依家都差唔多成十一點啦，咁啊佢七點鐘嚟嘅，咁依家咧就搞掂曬啦，而家呢個就係開箱啊，新開箱我呢個熱水爐啦，咁就係咁樣嘅，咁就係全新啦，咁就成個箱就係一百三十 lit 嘅，佢呢個好似係，係啦，佢呢個係一百三十 lit 儲水咁樣嘅。咁就係咯，新嘅咯，就係、是、咁樣啦。咁佢都搞咗好耐下，咦？佢都同我包得靚靚仔仔喎，都幾幾好喎。咁佢都係啦，咁就就係、是、咁樣咯。但係你睇下張單睇唔睇到啊？二千蚊啊！哇，真係好貴，一九五零啊，真係貴到嘔啊！好啦，咁而家都冇啦。即係所有嘢都整好曬，佢都搞咗好耐下，咁我就沖完涼，去完 R E C 問完，先再同大家講啦。好啦，由朝頭早六點鐘開始咧，就揾埋個噴花上嚟，跟住就裝埋個熱水爐，跟住就出埋 R E C 去報案，咁樣睇下 clean 唔 clean 到，跟住一路搞搞搞搞，依家搞到晏晝咧，依家個人咧係。非常之攰，非常之眼瞓。咁我依家咧個思路已經係好唔清晰噶啦，咁所以希望我講嘢咧有少少 make sense 啦嚇。頭先啦，咁啊去 R A C 問完個職員之後啦，原來有啲嘢係唔講都唔知嘅。原來佢話個熱水爐咧係算係 buildings 嘅一部分。咁我之前影片亦都提及過啦。咁呢度嘅 insurance 咧係包 buildings 同埋 contents 兩部分嘅。咁當佢一講話個熱水爐係 building 嘅一部分呢，我就心諗死啦，一定打定輸數啦，就應該九成都 c l 唔到㗎啦。因為 building 嘅就係你間屋嘅結構啊嘛。咁如果你間屋嘅結構冇爛嘅話呢，佢基本上係唔會賠俾你嘅。咁啊，保險公司通常都係咁㗎啦，叫你俾錢係容易，佢俾返錢你係難㗎啦嘛。咁所以呢，我就一開始佢話誒個熱水爐係 building 嘅話呢，其實我已經打定輸數㗎啦。咁但係去到都叫做喺諗住搏下啦，咁所以呢，我就 claim 咗係 under explosion 呢個 category 咁樣嘅，咁但係即係個熱水爐都唔係話真係着火嗰隻爆炸，即係個缸爆咗，咁佢就唔會話係因為一啲 accident 而去賠俾你咁樣嘅咯，咁所以唉啲二千蚊我就冇啦、啊、真係。嗱，臨聖誕搞啲咁嘅嘢出嚟，真係麻煩啊！真係，唉，頭痕啊，真係。咁趁住今次呢條片講開呢個 topic 啦，就有啲 experience 想同大家分享咁樣啦。咁其實都唔係話自己好多 experience 啦，因為之前一開始嚟 p e r 嗰陣時都係租屋住嘅。咁租屋嗰陣時，即係逢親水電煤啊，有啲咩問題嘅話呢，都係打電話就經 agent 就同個業主講。咁到時業主就會派佢哋自己。相熟嘅公司就去上門同你去搞掂呢個問題嘅。咁嗰陣時，逢親有啲咩問題呢？都係唔使自己落手搞嘅，真係打個電話咁就自己有人上嚟整咁樣嘅。咁但係到咗今時今日啦，就已經唔係租屋住啦，就係、是、住自己屋啦。咁所以好多呢啲咁嘅問題呢，都要自己去面對咁樣嘅。咁同埋呢度啲公司呢，就真係比較參差嘅。即係有一啲服務嘅質素啊，同埋價錢嘅上落都好大嘅。尤其是我哋呢啲，即係唔係由細喺度大啦，或者啱啱過嚟，即係冇乜朋友介紹，即係邊間商做嘅公司俾你嗰陣時咧，有啲機會咧都會幾容易攋嘢嘅。呢度啲公司咧，咁其實咧有啲就係有收 call out fee 嘅。call out fee 就係咩呢？就唔理你三七二十一，佢總之你揾佢上門同你睇一睇咧，就已經要收你錢啦。咁就嗰度 roughly around 就百零二百蚊左右啦，咁跟住就 depends 你個問題喺邊，咁就 on top of 你個 call fee， 然後再俾錢咁樣嘅
。咁所以呢，當初我第一次需要揾 plumber 嗰陣時呢，就係、是、個沖涼嗰個花灑就一直咁樣流水。即係你已經扭實曬個水喉啦，但係已經啲水係咁滴滴滴滴滴咁樣嘅。咁嗰陣時就真係需要揾個人嚟整啦。咁嗰陣時就諗住喺 Google 啦，實冇衰啦。咁嗰陣時 Google 就叫咗一間就上嚟同我睇。咁嗰間咧就唔使收 call fee 嘅，咁就 call 我就整一整話要五百蚊。咁嗰陣時都係唔知，即係完全都係，唉、哎，都係五百蚊，貴係貴啊！即係預咗呢啲係會貴嘅，因為呢度。嘅水電嗰啲咧係其實比較貴嘅，我覺得。咁跟住佢 call 我五百蚊，跟住要我即場俾埋 deposit。咁跟住係都算啦，都俾埋 deposit 啦，就已經。跟住之後再上網再睇翻我間公司咧，跟住就見到啲 Google review 喎，四十幾個、五十幾個 Google review， 但係全部都係一粒星喎。跟住心諗嗰陣時就賴嘢啦。咁跟住嗰條友走咗之後冇幾耐咧，我就即刻打銀行。即係話啊，可唔可以 cancel 個 transaction 啊？跟住又即刻打翻去原先個公司嗰度咧，咁就叫佢，哎你唔好嚟啦，你 refund 翻個 deposit 俾我，咁就算啦。咁跟住就即係都搞咗成兩個禮拜，都叫做 refund 翻個 deposit 啦。咁啊，覺得呢個五百蚊呢個價錢就真係太離譜啦，即係呢個價錢真係太離地啦。咁啊，跟住之後咧就開始揾 R E C 啦。咁 R E C 佢中間咧就係、是、有一個 home maintenance 嘅服務。咁其實佢只不過係中間人就再外判啲 job 咁啊，俾其他啲 local 公司做咁樣嘅啫。咁嗰陣時就記得佢過嚟整完之後，佢實收我唔知好似二百二十幾定唔知二百三十蚊咁上下嘅啫。咁其實你已經睇到呢兩間公司嘅 difference 喺邊啦，即係差唔多平咗半價㗎咯喎。咁所以呢，就你係見到有一間公司係完全呃錢嘅。咁啊，佢 profile 嘅 quality 好唔好呢？就唔知啦。咁但係起碼佢個價錢已經爭咗一大截先啦。咁啊，之後就揾咗即係經 RAC 揾咗呢間叫 B 公司啦。B 公司佢做啲嘢都係比較即係執得好整齊啦。咁即係將你啲花灑啊，即係拆好晒，整到污糟晒，又同你洗返、沖返乾淨佢咁啊。將你啲嘢搞搞得奇奇利利咁樣，就唔會話搞到一撇嘢咁樣嘅。咁佢臨走嗰時就即係影低佢架 friend 啦，抄低佢啲資料咁樣，就即係 save 翻個 record 咁樣到第時即係有必要嗰陣時就需要用到。咁第二次 call pumper 咧就係、是、同樣問題啦，但係唔同花灑咁樣嘅。咁啊，今次就直情 skip 咗 R E C 呢一層啦，就直接 call 呢間 B 公司咁就過嚟啦。同樣問題，但係就好似唔知再平多成四五十蚊咁上下嘅，都爭咗一大橛嘅。咁所以今次呢次熱水爐爆咧，都係揾翻呢間 B 公司就直接去同我過嚟整。咁所以佢頭先整七點鐘嚟，差唔多都整咗成十一點幾嘅，都整咗成三個四個鐘，都整得好耐下。咁亦都知道好多觀眾朋友將會嚟 Perth 生活啦。如果你租屋嘅話咧，就可能會冇呢個問題。但如果你哋一過嚟買屋嘅話咧，就 RIC 係有一個服務咁樣係一個保障咯。我覺得係，即係起碼可能會貴少少，但係唔會好似我。之前第一間 mention 嗰間五百蚊咁樣，即係嗰間實在太離地啦。呢個係一個 option 噶嘛，大家可以考慮下啦。咁啊，好啦，咁我今條片咧就嚟到呢度啦。臨聖誕之前咧就無啦啦唔見咗兩千人咧，就真係喊出嚟啦，真係。咁好啦。今條片就嚟到呢度啦，我依家好眼瞓，依家又開始天氣又非常之熱啦。咁如果大家中意我呢條片嘅話咧，就記得俾個 like 我 ，subscribe 我 channel， 開埋個鐘仔，咁我哋下條片再見啦，係咁，拜拜。